top 10 or bottom five? The Labor Commissioner's comments at a Tulsa Chamber of Commerce event is sparking a tough conversation. News Force Capital Bureau Chief Kaylee Olivas joining us now to explain. Kaylee? Yeah, Kevin Jolene, the State Chamber of Commerce, argues Oklahoma may not be in the top 10, but we're close. Meanwhile, Labor Commissioner Leslie Osborne says the state is actually in the bottom five, driving away big businesses with harmful rhetoric. We're failing our citizens because we have sunk to the bottom five in most indicators that make big conglomerates and businesses that provide great jobs want to move here. And we're not doing the things to keep those type of companies from leaving. I'd say Oklahoma is uh, definitely on the upswing and has a really bright future. Um, so I would say maybe we're close to top 10. Two opposite sides of the spectrum, but which is right? According to the U.S. News and World Report, we're 48th for education and health care, 42nd for public safety, economy, 34th, opportunity, 24th, infrastructure, 22nd. A CNBC survey putting Oklahoma as 41st for business last year. And the most recent black eye to the state, Wallet Hub claiming Oklahoma is last when it comes to a woman's economic and social well-being. We're losing those kind of things, but we're gaining a lot of Jiffy Lubes and Wendy's. The State Chamber of Commerce saying businesses like Panasonic and Michelin fleeing Oklahoma has nothing to do with those numbers, but more so a labor shortage. We have more jobs available than we have workers to fill them. There are still places that Oklahoma has challenges, um, but there are there's a commitment in the state, I think, uh, state leaders to uh, improve those areas and to always be trying to improve the state. Uh, as a place to do business. Yeah. But Labor Commissioner Leslie Osborne says companies are worried moving to Oklahoma will risk their reputation, especially with lawmakers like Senator Tom Woods making anti-LGBTQ plus comments like this. I represent a constituency that doesn't want that filth in Oklahoma. You know, we are a religious state. Uh, we're going, we are going to fight to keep that filth out of the state of Oklahoma. My daughter uh, got two masters while she's living here in Oklahoma, is lovely and kind human, and she uh, is a member of the LGBT community and moved to Massachusetts because she did not feel welcome here. Over the last two to three years, she started noticing a difference even going in public restaurants, going in restrooms, whatever it would be, and that's not acceptable. That's not government's job. Well, both the Oklahoma State Chamber of Commerce and Labor Commissioner Leslie Osborne agree that more investments in our infrastructure, education and workforce would pull us closer to that top 10 spot.